It is undoubtable that having a good understanding of an animal's ecology is the first step in creating a viable conservation strategy. Unfortunately, many aspects of an animal's daily life can often be overlooked, or very hard to study. One of these aspects is the spatial ecology of a species, which is the movement of the animal and their home ranges. The example that I will base this video off is a study conducted by Vignet Underwer, which was on the spatial ecology of sea snakes in coastal areas of the Great Barrier Reef. Recent data has shown that areas on the east coast of Australia that have higher abundance of sea snakes are also the areas where the most trawl fishing takes place. Trawler bycatch is a major threat to many marine species. To try and reduce bycatch, the Australian government created zones in which trawl fishing cannot take place. These are known as marine protected areas. Vignet studied the spatial ecology of the spine-bellied sea snake in order to understand the way sea snake make use of their coastal habitats in relation to trawl sites and marine protected areas. To find this out, acoustic transmitters were surgically inserted into sea snakes. These would then send a signal to a receiver which recorded the location, date, time, depth of the animal, and also its unique ID. The area of study was Cleveland Bay, off the coast of Townsville. The results also showed that sea snakes, in particular juvenile sea snakes, don't tend to move very far off the coast. Instead, they live within Cleveland Bay, taking advantage of the fresh water being washed out by the various rivers in the region. The adult sea snakes used the bay as a nursery ground, which offered the protection for the juvenile snakes. The results also showed that during the day, sea snakes would spend most of their time in deeper waters, only surfacing to breathe, and at night, they spend time at the surface hunting. Cleveland Bay is a marine protected area, but unfortunately this area is isolated from other protected areas, meaning that adults and juveniles wishing to leave or enter the bay will have to cross a trawling area. The information gathered by Vinay has shown that this may be a possible threat to sea snakes, and further action can now be taken. Gathering this type of ecological information is crucial to the conservation of a species. The data gathered by Vinay could potentially assist in creating new marine protected areas in the future, which could offer better protection to sea snakes. Thank you for listening.